Grain futures were mixed in today's trade with corn and wheat higher and soybeans under some slight pressure. At the close, May corn futures three and a half cents higher to settle at 439 and a half. The new crop December contract, that was two and a half cents higher to settle at 473 and a quarter. May soybeans, they were down two and a quarter cents, while the new crop November contract was actually able to tack on three quarters of a cent to settle at 1181 and a quarter. May Chicago wheat futures, well, they were the leader to the upside today, settling nine and three quarters cents higher to 552 and a half. Yesterday's weekly export inspections for corn came in at 1.2 million metric tons, about 48.8 million bushels. This was near the top end of expectations. Inspections for soybeans were reported at 686,000 metric tons, about 25.2 million bushels. That was kind of within the range of expectations. And wheat, well, that was on the lower end of estimates at just 302,000 metric tons. Now, attention is quickly turning to next week's quarterly stocks and prospective plantings report due out on Thursday the 28th. The prospective planting report is the first official survey-based estimate of the year and is often regarded as one of the more meaningful USDA reports as it starts the conversation around this year's production potential in the United States and the uncertainties that come along with it. Market participants may look to use new crop weekly options to help manage risk associated with the uncertainty of the report or use them to take an outright position in the markets.